Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on implementing Okta with a single page web app template. My name is Alex and in this video we'll walk you through the process of setting up and configuring Okta authentication for a SWA app using a pre-built template. To follow along with this tutorial you'll need two things. First you'll need an Okta account. I have my dev account here that I could uh, experiment with. And the second thing we will need is a um, website with the basic sign-on app page. For this tutorial, I've chosen Hack the Box in order to connect it to uh, Okta. It has a uh, simple login process that we can copy the selectors over. Mind you that we will need to have it as a static URL. In order to do this, we can do it two ways. We can create a SWA, basically, but for this uh, tutorial, we will use the template one. So if we go here to the catalog and punch in template, we will see we have a lot of uh, templates at our disposal. For example, uh, for this tutorial, we will choose the first one. Okay, here we go. So, name of the application, we will go with hack the box. Okay, logging URL. Again, mind you that this has to be a static URL. If something is dynamic, then it will not work. Frame URL, the same. Username field. Now, on the hack the box website, we will have here the username and if we go and hit inspect it will give us a div and also an input so depending on the website you can have this or this or even both so in our case we will need the input so if we go ahead and copy selector and paste it in the username field it's login email and that's great now for this example we will have passwords. So if we go and inspect, we'll have the same thing. So it's div and then input. We'll go ahead and go for input, copy selector, and paste it in the password field. Login button is a bit tricky with Hack the Box because, for example, I cannot, I cannot, let's say, inspect it. This is the data, but it's getting from everything. So. If I go as and say, let's say a random password, you say it goes green and now I can inspect it. And here's the class. That's the button. If you go ahead and copy selector and paste it here. Okay. So hack the box, URL, frame URL is the same. Username field, login email, password field, and login button. Okay, let's click next. Again, SWA, Octa username, create an update. And let's click done. And now in our admin tenant, we have the hack the box application. General, if you've misspelled something here or something went wrong, you can always edit it. Sign on again import you can import from csv but for now we were going to go with assignments and assign to people and hit test user okay we're going to sign this save and go back and done now since we are on the uh, admin side we will go ahead log off from the admin and log in with the octa test user now we're logged in as the user itself. And when I click this, it should redirect me to the Hack the Box page. So the credentials are being punched in and I'm logged into Hack the Box. Pretty simple, right? If you found this information valuable, please subscribe, share and like, and 
I will see you guys in the next one.